I'm going to show you two vegetables that I really like and you might not have grown. They're called the Beauty and the Beast. This one is the Beast and it's Celeriac and it's known as the ugly one because when it's mature it pulls a lovely round root ball but instead of being smooth it's all gnarled and knobbly hence the name the ugly one i love it because it's a very tasty vegetable it's got a nutty flavor it's very high in fiber it's low in carbohydrate much lower than potato and it's surprisingly high in iron it's got more iron than broccoli and because we're meant to eat 30 different types of fruit and vegetables and nuts a week, to have a wide diversity is really good. So this is Celeria. A lot of people don't grow it because they think it needs a very moisture retentive soil. But I've got very dry soil. I'm in a dry part of the country. What people don't realise is that between mid-September and mid-November, it can double in size. So they often lift it too early. So I wait until the frosts get really quite hard and that might even be early December, lift it before the hard frost and I just store it in a bucket or something in a cold shed so it has to be above freezing. I sowed these back in early March into the little plug plants. I'm now planting out middle end of May and I plant them at about um, 11 inches apart. Uh, that's about 20, 22 centimetres, something like that. And I dig a little hole and then I just put a bit of water in the bottom of the hole because I want the roots to chase the water down. So it's important that the soil is really moist. And then I just pop it in. And then I, obviously the plug plant is nice and moist. I've already soaked them in water. And then I'll just plant it gently like that and firm it in when the moisture has gone. I just think they're a most delicious vegetable, but people don't grow enough of them because they think they're difficult. When you cook them, and I think when you've gone to the trouble of growing homegrown vegetables, you really want to cook them the best possible way. And I really learned from the best. I was working with Raymond Blanc. We were judging a vegetable competition and he showed me how he did it with carrots. He just chopped up carrots into sort of bite-sized pieces about a centimetre big and then he melted a bit of butter or oil in a pan. He threw in the chopped up carrots, added about a dessert spoon of water, a bit of salt and pepper, tossed them round until they were just slightly crunchy. And then he just served them with the emulsion of the carrot juices, the butter and the salt and the pepper. And they're delicious. And since then, I've done just about all vegetables like that. I've done sprouts, cabbage, peas, celeriac, and it means that when you, when, you, when you actually boil vegetables in water and then you chuck all the water away down the sink when you've drained them, you're throwing out a lot of the goodness, a lot of the taste. But Raymond's way, you actually keep all those lovely flavours and nutrients, which is what you want. They keep very well. So I will normally harvest them sort of end of November and then I'll use them a lot grated in coleslaws. And that's when I think they almost come into their own. But they are a wonderful vegetable. This is the variety of Prince, P-R-I-N-Z, which I think is one of the best. And just give it a go. It's very, very pest free, which is brilliant. Now, the other one, the beauty, is one I'm sure you will not have grown before. And that's because it's not really available until next September. But I'm trialing it now and come and have a look at these beautiful plants here. This is the beauty. This is a brand new kale and it's called Sunbor, S-U-N-B-O-R. And I like it for several reasons. First of all, I think it looks so attractive. It's got these beautiful purple midribs, these lovely curly leaves and the beautiful purple stems. And I sowed this back in February and I planted it out probably a month or so ago in about April and um, it's now a lovely sized plant. I will sow some more seeds again in about late July, early August, and then I'll hopefully have a nice crop throughout the winter. And I think it will just really make my vegetable garden look outstanding in the winter. And the other really top point about Sambor is when you cook it, it doesn't taste like some sort of animal fodder crop. A lot of these kales are very tough and coarse, but this one has got really nice tender leaves and it tastes more like a designer spinach uh, and it's pretty nutritious. And I will also chop a bit and put some in salads. So here we are, this is Sunbor. 
brand new kale which you should be able to get seeds of in September bred by Elsons but should be readily available next autumn so do try it.